Hello guys and welcome back to Entirely Elon Musk's channel. Neuralink, the brain implant organization by Elon Musk, is the billionaire entrepreneur's foray into the experimental medical industry known as Brain Computer Interface or BCI. In the six years since Neuralink's inception, massive progress has been made in the field of BCI or Brain Computer Interface. Some of that stems from Neuralink's work in planning devices into pigs and monkeys, including the now famous monkey who can play Pong with nothing but his thoughts. Because of the digital telepathy enabled by BCI technology, the next-generation brain-computer interfaces is now undergoing human trials in the United States for the first time. However, the first BCI procedure to be approved by the FDA will be a device called Stentrode from a competing private company called Synchron, not a Neuralink. Let's dive into the video to know the latest updates and the status of Neuralink's brain implant device. Here we go! Starting with what is BCI's current state and how is Neuralink getting into it? So obviously, when Neuralink was founded in 2016, there was a lot of fanfare and media attention surrounding the company, owing to Elon Musk. The news reported that Elon Musk planned to implant implants in people's brains that would cure all diseases, make you smarter, allow you to control a computer with your brain, and even interface with an artificial intelligence to create a human-machine hybrid super being. It was a little out of the ordinary, but that's how Elon is. He doesn't have a filter, so he just says whatever wild fantastical things come to mind. And the media reports on it. So while Elon Musk did not invent the brain-computer interface, it has been around for a long time. The only issue is that there have been virtually no progress in improving the methodology and implementation of BCI between 2016 and the mid-1990s. So Neuralink is a modern approach to an existing technology that does exactly what Tesla did for the automotive industry. They did not invent the electric car but they packaged that technology into a product that performed admirably and solved the problem inherent in the previous design. The brain-computer interface concept is quite simple. The brain can control the rest of your body by sending specific electrical signals through your nerves and into your organs or muscles. Those electric pulses are analogous to programming language in the body. Your brain sends commands through your spinal cord, but this connection between the brain and body can be broken by a physical injury or a degenerative disease. As a result, BCI can act as a bridge for those electrical signals to bypass the broken connection. Existing BCI technology can be classified into two types, invasive and non-invasive. You've most likely seen non-invasive BCIs. It looks like a strain chat with an electrode sensor all over it. This can read electrical signals from the brain but is not very good at it. Between the sensors and the neurons is an entire skull. This is where things got gruesome, and another startup beats Neuralink. The Federal Drug Administration has not yet approved Elon Musk's Neuralink brain computing startup to implant its technology in humans. However, Neuralink's competitor, Synchron, has implanted its first device into a patient's brain in the United States. In this case, one suffering from ALS. This neurogenerative disease has affected the patient's ability to move and speak. The goal is for the patient to be able to browse the web and communicate via email and text simply by thinking. The device would use commands sent to a computer to translate the patient's thoughts into action. Synchron's device had already been implanted in four patients in Australia. According to Bloomberg, these patients experienced no side effects and the device enabled them to send messages via WhatsApp and make online purchases. Synchron received FDA approval in July 2021 to begin a human trial of its Stentro device in six patients' brains. The Stentrode can be inserted into the brain without causing any damage to the patient's skull or tissue. First, a doctor makes an incision in the patient's neck. Then a catheter is used to insert the stentrode into a blood vessel within the motor cortex, which is involved in the planning, controlling, and executing voluntary movements. A second procedure connects the device to a computing device implanted in the patient's chest after it has been implanted. The stentrode reads the signal produced by neurons firing in the brain and then sends it to the computing device, which sends it via Bluetooth to a computer or phone. Meanwhile, Neuralink is developing a surgical robot to implant its small, disc-shaped device into a patient's brain. The device would then process and filter signals on the embedded computer chips. And while the device's human trial in the United States is a first for Synchron, it is not a first in the field, since its development in 1992 by researchers at the University of Utah, the Utah Array, a microelectrode array technology that is small, silicon square with 100 needles that are pushed into the brain when implanted has been the standard for relaying electrical signals from the brain to a computer. It was the only FDA-approved BCI or brain-computer interface until last year, 
and it has shown significant results such as allowing paraplegics to control robot arms. However, the array is based on technology from the 1990s and can only cover a fraction of the brain's 86 billion neurons. Musk founded Neuralink in 2016, intending to create a device that once implanted in the human brain would allow a computer to translate a person's thoughts into action. He wants to not only treat but also cure brain diseases and disorders. Neuralink's approval Despite Musk's lofty goals, the Neuralink system has yet to be tested on humans. Musk tweeted in February 2021, Neuralink is working extremely hard to ensure implant safety and is in close communication within the FDA. If everything goes well, we may be able to conduct preliminary human trials later this year. Neuralink has yet to conduct human trials. Neuralink has previously been covered by Fortune, including management changes and employee conflict. For example, Max Hodak, its former president and biomedical engineer, designed abruptly and is now an investor in Synchron. Moreover, another thing that got them their biggest competitor is that people accuse them of being cruel to animals. So what about Neuralink's future? Neuralink explained the reasoning behind testing new technology in animals in a statement on its website. It is worth noting that these accusations come from the people opposed to using animals in research. All new medical devices and treatments must be tested on animals before being tested in humans. In this regard, Neuralink is not unique. Furthermore, the company is dedicating to working with animals in the most humane and ethical manner possible. According to reports, a series of experiments were conducted on macaque monkeys between 2017 and 2020, and the animals allegedly endured extreme suffering. So yes, Elon Musk and Neuralink's team tested their product on a monkey without harming the animal, and the video released by them showcased the monkey playing a video game with a mind. Experts also commented that Pager, the macaque monkey, was taught to play the video game using a joystick and was rewarded with a fruit smoothie. The Neuralink device recorded information about which neurons were firing to control which movements during this process. The joystick was disconnected, leaving the money to control the game solely with its mind. Mr. Musk's reaction to the experiment was typical of him. First, Neuralink product will allow someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs, he tweeted. He said the next stage would be enabling paraplegics, for example, to walk again. Getting back to monkey cruelty, according to sources, one monkey mutilated its fingers while another developed skin infection as a result of holes drilled in its skull. Furthermore, another monkey was discovered vomiting, retching, and gasping before collapsing from exhaustion or fatigue. Finally, according to CNN, the Physician Committee for Responsible Medicine, which filed a complaint about the alleged cruelty, claimed that QC Davis received $1.5 million in funding from Neuralink. In a statement clarifying the procedures, Neuralink stated that no animals were harmed or suffered injuries while being housed at UC Davis for the tests. In terms of euthanasia, the company stated that the only monkeys healthy enough for one anesthetic event but may not have the proper quality of life due to a pre-existing condition were humanely put to rest. What does the CEO of Synchron have to say? Oxley is the CEO and founder of Synchron, a company developing a brain-computer interface or PCI. These devices work by intercepting brain signals and converting them into commands that enact a movement such as moving a robotic arm or a cursor on a screen. The implant essentially serves as a bridge between the mind and the computer. Oxley's company is attempting to do the good stuff. On July 6, the first patient in the United States received Synchron's device at a hospital in New York. The device promises patients the ability to control their computer's mouse and click with it. They might be able to text their doctor, shop online, or send an email with that simple movement. The digital world has already infiltrated every aspect of modern human existence, providing various services. But to use them, you must use your fingers, Oxley explains. After all of the attention paid to Elon Musk's B-side company Neuralink, you'd be forgiven for thinking the technology is a groundbreaking scientific breakthrough. However, it has in fact been around for several decades. What do you think of Elon Musk's implants starting with human trials? Does it sound safe to you? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.